Hi, welcome to WFMR, a space for those who want to learn about WFM topics. Today we'll talk about Erlang C, the most popular method to calculate call center staffing. This is the first of two videos on the topic. On the first part, I will give you a bit of theory to let you in on the topic. On the second part, I'll show some practical examples. Let's get right to it. First, the original formula of Erlang C. And then uh, let me tell you, this was published in 1917 by A.K. Erlang. In case you want to find out more about him, uh, well, you can do that. Then next, what does this Erlang C formula do? Uh, Erlang C will calculate your agent requirements. And why would I use Erlang C? And when should I use it? To answer this, let me tell you first that there are deferred channels and live or non-deferred channels. The difference is that deferred channel will have no abandon. So regardless of when you answer this kind of uh, channel or contact, uh, this contact will be there until you answer it, like uh, email or probably social media Call center managers know this and therefore measure success of deferred channels with longer times to answer, like 24 hours, whereas live or non-deferred channels, on those the customer is on the other side waiting for an immediate answer, example, phone or chat. All channels have something in common, which is you are able to predict with acceptable deviation how many contacts you get in, let's say, one month, one week, one day, and even in one hour. However, you cannot precisely say when each single interaction will happen. So if we put this randomness and then the fact that the customers will be waiting for an immediate response together, then Erlang C is the most suitable for this kind of challenge. All right, so live channel, then Erlang C. Next, how does it do it? Well, Erlang C formula will simply assess how likely it is that a caller will have to wait for someone to answer the phone based on the forecast volume, the AHD, the service level threshold. Then it will calculate the amount of agents that you need to comply with your service level in an acceptable time. So far, so good, right? Yeah, but you may still wonder, are there any flaws to Erlang C methodology? Yes, it is not perfect since Erlang C equation does not take into consideration abandon, okay? However, uh, well, it's still acceptable and uh, you may ask yourself if it doesn't factor in abandon, why use it at all? Well, uh, you can use it for free whether you prefer Excel or Google Sheets. And another reason is even the most sophisticated workforce management softwares use Erlang Z or they based their new Erlang-like methodology uh, from this Erlang C original formula. And it's very likely that you know that WFM tools or workforce management tools are great, but they are also very expensive. So to me, being free and, uh, well, not having to, to pay this mo much money and versatility of using it in different platforms is good enough reason. Um, yet, if you would like to have uh, an advice on another way to do it, is there a better or alternate way to do it? Yes, there is also Erlang X, which considers abandoned calls and therefore provides more accurate results. The only thing is, uh, once again, you have to pay for this. So it truly